Kotlin versus Java. Which is the best programming language that one should master? Hi all, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and in this session we'll make a head-to-head -head comparison between two leading programming languages for Android development that is Kotlin and Java. But before we begin, let's take a look at the agenda. I'll start this session by giving you a proper introduction to what is Kotlin and what are its major uses. And then I'll talk about the high-level programming language Java. After that, I'll be discussing the parameters to compare the two legends of Android development, Kotlin and Java. Moving further to the discussion, I'll point out the major drawbacks of Java over Kotlin and also make a note of the advantages of Java over Kotlin. And finally, I'll wrap up this session by answering the most frequently asked question, is Kotlin going to replace Java? I hope the agenda was clear to you guys. And I also suggest you to subscribe to Edureka channel to never miss out any updates on trending technologies. And let's find out which programming language you should master. Despite the reputation of Java as a very popular programming language, Android was long in need for a modern language. Kotlin filled that gap ever since it was announced as the official language for Android development. But definitely, Java has a place too which is hard to compete with. So which language would you prefer to learn, Java or Kotlin? I assume that most of them out there do not know what Kotlin is, so let me help you guys with it. It's a well-known fact that each and every technology has something new to offer. Updates in the older versions, introduction to new technologies, and then there are some which are not so new to us, right? So among these, mobile development language is the first and the foremost requirement of today's world. So what is Kotlin? Kotlin is a simple programming language which is robust, statically typed and is less verbose than Java. But does this feature make it the first choice for Android development? What about the fact that Java has been around for 20 plus years for now? So the answer to this would be Kotlin came into existence in order to improvise the qualities of Java and help in mobile development. JetBrains a huge kick-ass company that created IntelliJ also created Kotlin. It is an open source statically typed language based on the Java virtual machine. A class which consumes more than 50 lines of code in Java can actually be brought down to two to three lines in Kotlin. It can help you avoid all boilerplate code like you don't need to specify the getters and setters, equals, hash codes and so on. These methods can be easily generated by Kotlin itself. A central focus for Kotlin is to enable mixed language projects. Kotlin also introduces improved syntax as well as concise expression and abstractions. So that's it about Kotlin guys. If you want to learn more about Kotlin and get end-to-end -end guidance on how Kotlin rose to be the official language for Android development, check out Edureka's Kotlin tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description below guys. So now let's discuss about Java. Every software engineer out there would have worked with Java for their project. Be it a fresher or be it an experienced person, everybody out there would have worked on Java. So let me give you a brief about this programming language. It is an object-oriented programming language developed by Sun Microsystem, which is now apparently owned by Oracle. Being such an old programming language, Java does a whole lot more than just develop Android applications. So if you know Java, you have better job opportunities. That's the belief, right? But I suppose nobody wants to just develop Android applications all the time. Java lets you spread your wings wider. Android applications are developed using the language Java. As of now, that's really your option for native applications. So some of the major features of Java include it is easy to learn and understand. It's designed to be platform independent and secure. It can work on virtual machines as well and it is object oriented. Java relies heavily on the Java fundamentals. I think most of you are clear with Java fundamentals. If you want to learn more about Java, just check out our blog page or you can find out our video on YouTube. Java works well for native as well as cross platform applications. Since Android itself is built on Java, there are plenty of Java libraries to your help. Also, Java has a wide open source ecosystem. Java applications are more lighter and compact, resulting in faster application experience. It yields a faster build process too, which lets you code more in less time. Another important thing to note is that there is a huge community for Java programmers, which means that you can find answers whenever you are stuck somewhere. 
This is very important because as a beginner you will face a lot of technical problems and you might want to know where to head when you're stuck. So when you search on Google with the Java problem, you're bound to get answers. The same cannot be said for Kotlin, which is still a new programming language. So this is everything you need to know about Java. Now let's move ahead to the interesting part, the parameters to compare Kotlin and Java. So I'll be comparing them based on the code compilation time, their null safety, lambda functions and community. Okay, so let's move forward. Kotlin shows a slower compilation speed than Java in most cases, even though this beats Java in a few instances, it cannot be relied if you're working on bigger projects. Whereas Java applications are lighter and more compact, even when it is compared to Kotlin application, resulting in a faster application experience. Now let's compare them based on their null safety. Kotlin's type system has inbuilt null safety. The infamous null pointer exception is largely responsible for Android development mistakes. Android completely relies on null to represent the absence of a value, but this null can easily destroy an application. Kotlin solves this problem by incorporating inherent null safety. With the addition of this, most of the developers are saved from writing extra code to work around the issue. Whereas Java on the other hand has this null safety only in the version 7. About the community support. Kotlin's community is still growing as it's a new programming language, whereas Java's community support is very high. So these are the major differences that we can point out between Java and Kotlin. Now let's move ahead and learn about the advantages of Kotlin over Java, or you can say disadvantages of Java over Kotlin. Kotlin is interoperable, which means that you can leverage all existing Java libraries, JVM, and other frameworks and it provides easy learning curve. The developers who know Java can easily learn Kotlin. Switching from Java to Kotlin does not have much overhead and adopting and it doesn't cost anything. It is concise, which means that it is drastically reducing the amount of boilerplate code. It is safe to use as it avoids classes of errors such as null pointer exceptions and many more. It is tool friendly. You can choose any Java IDE or build from the command line. And it is also similar to Apple's Swift. Kotlin is much like Apple's Swift language in terms of language features and flexibility. So this is about the advantages of Kotlin over Java. Now let's take a look at the disadvantages of Kotlin or advantages of Java over Kotlin. In Kotlin, there is definitely a steep learning curve with Kotlin. Its simple syntax is great to learn, but it requires some learning upfront. As I mentioned earlier, it shows slower compilation speed than Java in most cases and the Kotlin community is still young and its learning resources are very limited. So however, with its growing popularity, the resources and community will expand in time. Hopefully it does. Since Kotlin is still new, finding experienced developers who can act as mentors for your team or group can be a little difficult. Everyone out there is still learning and exploring this amazing programming language. Some major features of Android Studio like autocomplete and compilation tend to run slower in Kotlin when it is compared to Java. So these are the disadvantages of Kotlin over Java. Now let's move to our final topic is Kotlin going to replace Java. The answer to this would be no. Kotlin has a lot of powerful features and so does Java. They both are bound together to treat us with more improvised versions. So yes, Java and Kotlin go hand in hand for Android development. While Java is almost ruling the enterprise world, Kotlin is emerging as the most loved programming language among Android developers. So that's it about Kotlin versus Java guys. Hope you find this session interesting. Do leave your queries on the comment section below. Until next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!